Hey everyone, welcome to day 18 of our 30 days in prayer. We're spending a few minutes together each day to help us expand our ability to pray in multiple ways so we can pray more effectively. Today, I just wanna spend a minute with you and help you think through how to pray when you got thoughts rattling around your head that are just tiny up in knots. We're just anxious about a relationship or a job or a fear of the future or some mistake we've made in the past. Whatever it might be, we're just anxious. Well, the Apostle Paul tells us this in Philippians 4. He says, don't be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, along with thanksgiving, present your requests to God, and then the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. And that's a powerful promise. He says when we're worried, to bring our requests to God, along with thanksgiving. That means when I'm worried about my job, I need to thank God that I had the job in the first place. And I need to thank God that he's the one who's going to guide me. If this job doesn't work out, he'll guide me to the next step. I can always thank God in a relationship that (coughs) he gave me the opportunity to be in the relationship in the first place if there's relational problems. And I can thank God that he'll give me the wisdom to know how to move forward. If I'm sick, I can thank God for the doctors or the hospital or the medications I'm taking. I can also thank God that he's the one who watches over me. He made my body and he knows what's going on. And he'll show me what to do. So today we're gonna spend just a few minutes in prayer and we're gonna begin with a time of thanksgiving and then we're gonna present our problems to God. Because Paul said if we present our problems to God and thank him, Then we'll have peace that'll guard our hearts and minds. And then I can focus on the other things God has for me today. Because my problems are surrendered to Him. He'll carry them, not me. And I want that peace. You do too. Will you pray with me, please? Oh, gracious Heavenly Father, we come before you now in praise and in worship and adoration. We thank you for sending your Son, Jesus, to give us life, to give us forgiveness, and to give us a place in your family. We thank you for sending the Holy Spirit to guide us and empower us in our daily lives. And Heavenly Father, we pray that you'll open our eyes so that we can see your greatness, your majesty, and your victory on our behalf. There's no problem that's too hard for you to handle, Lord. And that's why we bring all our problems to you. So we thank you in advance for answers, for direction, for healing, for courage. And now would you just spend a moment laying at God's feet whatever the biggest problem is you're facing today? The thing that's tied you up in knots. You say, God, I really need your help. I don't know what to do about this. And I'm so anxious and afraid. I just give this to you. Would you take care of this for me, please? Surrender a relational problem, a financial problem, a health concern, fear of the future, guilt about the past. Whatever it is, surrender it to him right now and say, God, I need you. Father, I thank you for your word. It guides us in all matters of faith and practice, even how to pray when we're afraid. And I thank you that you're always more ready to listen than we are to pray. So we've given our problems to you. We've given you thanks. And now, God, would you guide our hearts and minds with peace today so we can be busy about the things for today and not miss the opportunities that you have for us. We pray these things in the name of Jesus with thanksgiving. Amen. Have a great day.